Tonight in 7 News Flashback, the birth of Brisbane's FM radio war 25 years ago. This week, back in 1990, music station B105 was born, but an old AM favourite had to be sacrificed to bring about the revolution. John Schluter reports. Rock and roll! Brisbane, when neon lights rule the skyline, including the 4BK Tower. The AM station had been on air since 1930. In the 70s and 80s, it was the home to comic genius Wayne Pooh Roberts. 4BK Music Time is 23 away from 10. The station gained listeners by giving away houses at Bean Lee. And shortly before the drawing at 3 o'clock, almost 60,000 people had squeezed themselves in like sardines at Mount Warren Park. A 4BK spokesman said the crowd was the biggest ever to attend a radio station promotion in the Southern Hemisphere. The winning ticket was drawn from a concrete mixer. The lucky winner was 19-year-old Rhonda Daly and her husband Ian. The Alexandra Hills couple, who'd been married for just six weeks, had won a fully furnished home and a car worth over $70,000. They did it again at Ipswich. More than 50,000 people crammed into Collingwood Park near Red Bank today for the drawing the winning ticket. The winner had just five minutes to claim her prize. Mrs McGill bulldozed her way through the crowd like a woman possessed. She made it and the home was hers. But as popular as 4BK was, the lure of FM radio was strong. Brisbane's first commercial FM station began in 1980 and was blitzing the ratings with its smooth sound. 4 Triple M FM at 104 on the FM dial. So a decade later in 1990, 4BK paid $17 million to convert to FM. 4BK was buried, B105 was born. Within six weeks, the new station was number one. B105 took over Brisbane in one survey, just went whew. In the dude it's cold, it's a bit breezy, but that isn't it, boys? Helped by a breakfast team that would do anything to get publicity. It's a living, all right? And huge cash giveaways. Listen, call, and you could win $1,000. I've won. Yes, $1,000. Triple M hit back with its own cash. Hop on the phone and gee whiz, you could win $1,000 six times a day. Where's the money coming from? Uh, that's for you to know and for me to find out. Richard Barker celebrated that first B105 win a quarter of a century ago, and he's still there. It was exciting, it was new. Um, there was a, it was a choice for listeners. You know, there wasn't just one FM station, there were two. Last night, staff from the first quarter of a century of the station gathered to mark the milestone. 25 years on, the once fierce competitors B105 and Triple M are now under the same roof, up against 97.3, Nova and a host of other FM stations. Jamie Dunn has returned to Triple M on Saturdays after years in the radio wilderness. Isn't that the strangest thing? But how lucky am I? Hey, because, like, there ain't no age for rock and roll, dude. <laughs>